Relief arrives for firefighters battling the game preserve fire burning up in Walker County. Fire started on Friday. It has just kept growing. It's north of Huntsville. At last check, it was 40% contained. ABC 13's Rosie went live in Walker County. Information for us. Good morning, Charlie and Jeff. Fire officials just wrapped up that briefing about half an hour ago. Here to provide us with the latest updates on the Game Preserve Fire is Leela Branch. She is with the Florida Forest Service Incident Management Team. Leela, thank you for joining us sure. this morning. Thank First you. off, can you provide us with the latest numbers on acreage, containment numbers, etc.? Yes, it is actually at 4,256 acres right now with better mapping, and it's at 40% containment. Okay, and that's about, you said a six acre increase from the yes. last update that we had yes yes okay tell us about the latest information regarding evacuations road closures what should people know this morning who live in the area we're actually lifting the evacuation order as we speak and the roads so Cedar Creek all those families that were evacuated can return back to their homes okay do we know if there were any homes damage any injuries caused by this fire no ma'am there was no there is not any injuries or um, animals nothing um, that it has gotten any injury to it. Okay, so we were told that Florida Forest Service was coming in to help take over with this wildfire. Tell us about the role that this agency will have. Are y'all taking over? Are y'all taking turns? Help us understand what the role is here. Yes, it's a command center. So what we do is we come in and kind of relieve your locals that have been manning this fire since it started. They were doing 24 hour shifts. So we actually come in and we have a command post here from we have map making, we have our operations, we have finance um, to supply to these workers that are out here to keep them safe and also to make a game plan. So we watch the weather um, so that your locals can continue on what they need to do until we can get this fire contained. And what are the plans at this point to help battle this fire? So right now we're continuing with mop up efforts. And what that means is they're putting the lines around the fire um, so that it doesn't jump, can't jump the roads, you know, protecting the homes out there. Um, so and we'll stay here until that is completed. So what's the pulse here? You got a pretty good feel on the wildfire. You have a good sense that you'll be able to get it under control. Oh, yes, ma yes, definitely. Um, I, as of last night, I knew we had 10 or 15 bulldozers out there that were doing um, lines in around the homes and on the newer um, area to where we're opening up the roads. OK, any other information that you think our viewers should know? Just be aware, be cautious. Um, we are monitoring the weather. Um, we, there is expected some rain this afternoon too, so that might cut, you know, pick up a little dust you know, with the um, smoke. But also in the same, um, we could, if the weather changes or if that fire picks up and we start seeing smoke on the road, we will shut the roads back down. Just be um, aware of that. Any updates on what the possible cause of this fire is? No, ma'am, I do not have that. Do we know how long it's going to take before we find out? Um, your local um, text and AM, they would probably um, figure that out and let folks know that as well. Appreciate it. That was Leela Branch with the Florida Forest Service. Thank you so much You're for so your welcome. updates. So again, Charlie and Jeff, the updates here are evacuations are being lifted. Roads will be open once again so people can return if they had left the area. Acreage only increased by six acres, uh, still 40% contained. And at this time, we still don't know the cause of this fire. Back to you.